We're about to see 10 countries that are best for women according to the WPS index from the Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace and Security. This index looks at a variety of different factors to measure which countries are best for women. Hey guys, Leroy Kenton here, you're watching FTD Facts. Let's start this episode off with the country at number 10, the Netherlands with a score of 0.885. The Netherlands ranks among the top 10 best countries for women with 54.8% of them being part of the active workforce. They also have an average of 12.1 years of schooling and a very impressive 99.8% financial inclusion. Dutch women from the Netherlands hold 35% of all seats in the government and 74.4% of them feel safe in their communities and this is according to a survey. On top of that, nearly 95% of Dutch women have access to a mobile phone which really makes life a lot easier. Number 9 leads us to the United Kingdom with a score of 0 0.888. The United Kingdom, comprising of England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, provides women with an average of 13.2 years of schooling. Around 56% of women are employed and have a say in 96.1% of financial decisions. Women also hold 30.6% of parliamentary seats, and we've seen three female prime ministers as of the year 2022. There are nearly 78% of women who feel safe in their homes and communities throughout the United Kingdom. From there, let's take a look at Austria at number eight with a score of 0 0.891. Women in Austria have ample opportunities for social and financial advancement and they have a say in 98.4% of all financial decisions with a majority of 51.7% in the active workforce. They have also an average of 12.2 years of schooling. And Austrian women hold about 40% of parliamentary seats, marking a 10 point increase since the year 2017. 84% of women in the country say that yes, they do feel safe in their homes and their communities. So this is a huge contributing factor. Sweden has a score of 0 0.895. And Sweden is the final Scandinavian nation to feature among the top 10 best countries for women where female experience a remarkably high quality of life. With 57.3% actively employed, Swedish women receive a minimum of 12.7 years of education on average. They also hold approximately 47% of all parliamentary seats and 68.9% of them say that they do feel safe in their communities as well as in their homes. Next up, let's take a look at Switzerland with 0 0.898 as their score. Switzerland is one of the world's most advanced nations, providing its inhabitants with a superior quality of life. Swiss women in particular have access to excellent education, work prospects, as well as financial security. On average, Swiss women receive a minimum of 12.7 years of schooling and just under 60% of women are actively employed. In addition to that, 98.9% .9 of Swiss women are included in financial decision making and they hold 39% of all parliamentary seats, which is a 10% increase since year 2017. Coming up at the number five spot, we have Luxembourg at a score of 0 0.899. Luxembourg, the small microstate, ranks fifth among the top countries for women as per the Georgetown Institute's data. Despite having a population of only 600,500 inhabitants, women enjoy a very comfortable and fulfilling life there. With an average of 12 years of schooling and an employment rate of 54.9%, Luxembourg's women are actively engaged in their society. Additionally, 31.7% of parliamentary seats in Luxembourg are held by women, marking an increase of three points since the year 2017. 85.6% of women in the country feel safe in their communities also. From there, let's take a look at the country of Denmark. Their score is 0 0.903. 
Denmark, similar to other Scandinavian countries, is renowned for its excellent quality of life, including high quality of life for women. Danish women have nearly 100% access to cell phones and the internet. Denmark, similar to other Scandinavian countries, is renowned for its excellent quality of life, including an excellent quality of life for women. Danish women have nearly 100% access to cell phones and the internet, and on average, they complete 13.1 years of schooling. While 54% of eligible working women have active employment, there is still room for improvement in female inclusion as well as opportunities. In the political sphere, just under 40% of parliamentary seats in Denmark are held by women. And they even saw a female prime minister, Matt Fredriksson, who's a female. From there, let's take a look at the country of Iceland at number three. Icelandic women complete on average of 12.6 years of schooling and around 88% of working age women are active members of the workforce. Icelandic women also have some of the highest cell phone usage rates in the world, with 99.6% of them using cellular devices. Over 40% of parliamentary seats in Iceland are held by women, and in 1980, the country made history by electing the first female president, and they even saw a female prime minister that served since 2017. Next up at number two, we have Finland. Their score is 0.909. Finland ranks as the second best country for women to live in and work in, just after Norway. Finnish women receive an average of 12.9 years of education and 52.7% of them are engaged in active employment. When it comes to politics, women hold 46% of parliamentary seats and the current Prime Minister, Sanna Marin, made history as the youngest head of government in Finland at the age of 34. Coming in at number one, we have Norway. Their score is 0.922. According to Georgetown's data, Norway is ranked as the top country for women out of 170 different nations. With an average of 13 years of education, Norwegian women are among the most educated in the world. In addition, 58% of women have stable employment. Women also hold approximately 45% of parliamentary seats and have served as prime minister, of course. Erna Solberg has been the most recent serving up until 2021. All right, guys, so that was a look at the 10 best countries for women. If you made it this far, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.